first step in cloning a gene is to isolate the DNA from the organism that contains the desired gene. The isolated DNA is purified and then fragmented with a restriction enzyme. Restriction enzymes used in cloning produce staggered cuts in specific sequences in the DNA, generating fragments with cohesive ends. Each fragment has a single-stranded sequence of nucleotides on its ends that is capable of hybridizing with DNA that has been fragmented with the same restriction enzyme. The DNA fragments are then incorporated into plasmids. The type of plasmid used for cloning has a single restriction site and when cleaved by the restriction enzyme generates the same cohesive ends that are in the fragments of the DNA to be cloned. The cohesive ends of the plasmid and DNA fragments now line up and the enzyme, DNA ligase, is used to form phosphodiester bonds. The next step is to incorporate the plasmids into bacterial host cells by transformation. Each cell contains a different segment of DNA from the original organism. Taken together, these cells represent a DNA library. The cells can now be plated out on an auger medium. The colony of cells containing the desired cloned gene can then be identified and isolated.